I said alert, y'all. So we're starting off Sephiroth Joker, Frosty versus Gungaloo. And this is, this is, this is definitely a match to be seen because Frosty says he's dropping the FGCs. He's done with Ken, done with Ryu, done with Kazuya, done with Terry. He says, hey, yo, I'm, I'm a jokester player. I'm a, I'm a funny guy now. And I'm like, okay, okay, you're a funny guy now. You got some jokes, you can laugh. All right, let's see it in the game. See it in the game, yeah, because now we see it. First stop being taken by some shenaniganery, some Wolverino here. But he's not going to let that get to him. He's still probably going to sing his, his K-pop and and let him, you know. You know, y'all know the rest. Arsene already out. But Gungaloo just confidently keeping this lead and keeping the spacing away from Frosty. He's not letting up the pressure. He is just really making sure it's fine-tuned that he is not getting hit by these arsene hits because y'all know this game is not over he could have he could have up smashed. he could have got something crazy out of that i would have recommended some smooth up smashery but there we go we've seen it right now the down guns he is totally used to that knows exactly what to do especially with those platforms to kind of like block off gun it's it's not the best option to go for on battlefield you want to land you just kind of want to land fairly quickly. You don't have your best landing tool. You don't have many others either. Oh, um, so if anyone is wondering how to beat Joker and you're on battlefield or you're on a stage of platforms, stay under that platform and that person's above you. You don't you don't need to attack him in the air, even though pressuring him in the air is not that hard either. It's just if you want to play it safe and don't want to get hit by gun, just hide under that platform, bro. And then another one of those spikes for the three stock finish. Oh my God. Is Frosty frozen or is he just deep in thought? I think he's just deep in thought. But I think Frosty's got this. Even if it's not the character, you know, okay, he's gonna stick with it. He knows what to do. He is new to this character. He's better at the game than me, but so far the Joker things like this character's play style so far just doesn't mesh exactly. Well, the thing is, he has too flexible of a play style. He no longer has the luxury of being able to play the same way every game. He really has to double down. He really has to focus on stages. Stages, I learned, is very important when playing Joker. You have to you have to approach pressure completely differently on each stage. Like in this stage, you don't have the middle platform anymore, so like he's doing right now, landing with gun is much more feasible on this stage. And wow, that side B, I'm gonna take him out there. Gungaloo definitely used to playing Joker and definitely playing Joker that, he's definitely used to Jokers that apply, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say more pressure, but Jokers that play their hit more, where someone like me or Michael would probably get more from that dash attack or would probably not go for that up tilt there. It's just, again, he's not the character. He's not bad at the game, y'all. Like, this is Frosty we're talking about. This dude that consistently makes our top four. He is taking a leap of faith with a new character, a character that he says he really enjoys, and I think that's really cool. I think it's really beautiful to take that risk, even especially on game two, you know? This could be very well match point and loser's bracket match for him, but he's sticking with it, and that's very important, especially with this character. Definitely a mastery character. You're not gonna get your best results the first time playing this character, that's for sure. And so far, I do think he's doing fairly well. He's just gotta learn, I'd say spacing his moves, that that, you cannot hit that upwards and expect a fuck. Good forward smash there to even up the stocks. 135% on the board, though. Just playing a bit too close. I'd say, especially when Sephiroth has his invincibility. You kind of just want to stay away, wait for that invincibility to go. Okay, starting to get more off of his hit. Because you see, even with getting like a forward attack combo, it still only does like 35 damage. And that's where I think the sheet combination, sorry, not combination, the correlation comes with people. 
is that yeah like sure you get some like pretty outlandish combos and they don't do too much damage but i don't think these characters play too similarly to compare them too much i think he's more comparable to zss when it comes to play style and just all out approach yeah just going for a lot of these slide movements when it's not too optimal just kind of flashing around as most do with joker it's really about getting that out your head when you're first learning this character is get out the uh this character's cool as fuck because you're not mk leo you're not subaki you're none of those dudes especially when you first play this character competitively you're not that guy pal good up smash reading the role there but yeah like when you're playing this character you just gotta learn to play lame most of the time We are seeing now an even game, bringing it all the way back from the depths. Frosty is. The game, however, is not over. And right there, he was going for the counter when it'd probably be best that, you know, it's a re-grab. So you want to do something about the re-grab. but still at a disadvantage interesting and yeah that move is not going to hit point blank or he wasn't expecting it to be at that range and the down smash taking it almost bringing it all the way back but i gotta say again i truly respect staying on the character knowing that you're down that's the only way to really learn in this game y'all for real you gotta take your losses to the chin you gotta you just gotta accept that you gotta accept that this is a learning process this game isn't totally meant for competitive play some silly goofy shit is gonna happen you gotta pick your shit up and move on y'all feel me bro so i gotta say the true winner here is frosty for sticking with that hey, i'm telling you that character you probably be at the entire time huh you no, no i'm saying like that character specifically playing joker like you're used to being able to play a character where like for the most part you have one game plan on every stage joker you have a different game plan every stage you have a different game plan every opponent <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah like true winner like sticking with it like losing game one lots of people when playing a new character lose game one they're like fuck it i'm just gonna switch it up but staying with that character it's different it's definitely gonna be a different experience but like i commit and who am I gonna sadly defeat? Uh, let's see that was. I think it's out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Not only losing, he got trash game one. That's that's true. And then he almost brought it back that second game. That's what I'm saying. He almost brought it back.